Hey guys, it's Tom from Something RS coming to you from the Battle of Lumbridge, which still rages on. And to any new or returning veteran player, this might seem like impressive new content, but am I the only one who doesn't care about this new content all that much and would rather see old content getting some love? If you've been paying any sort of attention to the RuneScape news recently, you'll know that this place, which is the Black Knight's Fortress above Falador, you'll know that this place is getting a Sixth Age rework pretty soon with the Black Knight's Fortress quest, which I believe will have a new name, I can't remember that name off the top of my head. And the loyalty points program for members will also be getting a rework at the end of the month, I believe. But is that really enough? The last time I believe we had old content reworked was back in April when we had the God Wars rework for instanced dungeons. That's a long time ago, I believe. And is that really enough? Should we be focusing so much on new content and going so long before old content that's been irrelevant for years? Should we be going so long without even touching that content? Now I'm just going to visit a few areas of RuneScape to help demonstrate how irrelevant a lot of the old content is. And right now I'm at Barbarian Assault, which I know some people still do this to recharge their Penance Horn, I believe, which gives you extra mining or agility experience, which is good. But let's look at the other rewards, like the Penance Armor. This armor is level 40 defense, that's worse than Rune yet it takes a lot more teamwork and coordination and skill to get this armor than it does to earn rune armor, which quite frankly you can get for free from the Squeal of Fortune if you're lucky. So why would anyone with that in mind work so hard for armor that is a as good as adamant armor when you can just get given level 50 defense armor for free? See, this is an example of content which is no longer relevant and needs updating. Many people did Barbarian Assault when Penance Torsos and Fighter Hats were actually kind of useful, but not so much anymore. I know some people are immediately going to disagree with me on this, but Pest Control and Conquest. The usefulness of Void Armor is really quite questionable these days, I know some people used Void against the QBD until she got buffed again recently. And you certainly wouldn't use Void against other bosses, as you need a decent amount of life points and defense. I don't think the combat XP you get from these minigames is all that spectacular either. So I have to ask, where's the incentive? You can see that the icons, for the gear at least, hasn't been updated. Just while I'm here, I thought it might be worth pointing out that there are, in fact, still quite a few people doing pest control. It's at least enough to keep one game going at a time, at least. But if, but that's only for the level 150 plus boat. In the other boats, where are people? I'm on the pest control dedicated world, and there's only enough people to fill the high level boat. Where's the incentive? Here's something we can all agree on. Fishing trawler. And just to show you, I am actually on the dedicated world for fishing trawler. And there is literally nobody here except me. And I'm not actually here to do the mini game. This gives high level fish, which require up to 95 fishing, which is pretty damn high. And rock tails have just made this completely redundant. There is nobody here. And this takes more effort than more traditional fishing methods, including fishing rock tails, and yet offers nothing of value for that effort, not even a good amount of XP. How is that right? Okay, we could talk about useless mini games all day, but I'm going to try and focus on some other areas that need content updates. And to give a demonstration of that, I'm going to look at the Champions Guild, which is just south of Varrock. As you guys know, this is very old content. And I think one of the problems we face is that a lot of shops, like this one for example, sells gear 
but at like old school prices, which don't apply to today's economy. So for example, we have a rune chain body, which we can buy for 50k from the shop. But then if we check the GE price, we'll see that it's 38k on the GE. So I've got to wonder what's the point of this shop when I can just easily buy a rune plate body for much, for much cheaper on the GE, as same applies for all these other pieces like rune plate legs, rune plate skirt, rune mace, and so on. This old content needs to offer something different, or there should at least be item sinks to take rune plate bodies out of the game, and oh, it just frustrates me that there's such so much old content in the game and yet a lot of it is just so irrelevant to today's runescape and it for me that just breaks the immersion i mean down here we have the champion scrolls but when was that ever relevant other than for completion escape requirements the re the rewards from this are completely shit compared to how hard it is to actually get a champion scroll I think I've had, yeah, I've had two in my entire RuneScape playing existence, which was from zombies and goblins, and you get like a hundred Slayer XP for getting those and killing those champions. It's ridiculous. 50 GP to whoever can guess where this is. This feels like a huge waste of development. Oh yeah, these are definitely a waste of time now. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Please don't tell me that that does not need an update. I think you get the point by now. I know Jagex are slowly working through old content and updating it, but I don't think they're doing it often enough. So what do you guys think? Do you think we should make old content relevant to today's players? Or should we just leave it to die for nostalgia purposes and introduce new content instead? Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you tomorrow for another Rags to Riches.